welcome to Two Tangled Games. Um, as you can see, different place, this being my place. And Frog Pug! This is the pug episode. so there will be lots of pug. Um, I attempted to put him in the Sailor Moon costume. It does not fit in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Now I remember why I didn't even take it out of the box. Jessie knew when she bought it. It was way too small. Gadget is a rather, yes, I'm talking about you, robust pug. So, you get the frog pug. Who will probably sit here for most of the episode. Um, or, uh, sit somewhere. Hi. Um, so yeah. Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter, and we are the 18th of October. Everyone else is at Rhinebeck, and actually, the podcaster meetup should have just ended, uh, or is just about to end, one of the two. Hello, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's going on. You can find us on YouTube and on our blog, which is twotangledsgains.com. And we actually just hit 800 members this morning. Woohoo! So come join our Ravelry group because there will be an 800 member draw next weekend, uh, which is the 25th. Hi. No, you're going to have to sit on this side of Mummy. <laughs> Don't spill the coffee itself. Don't put coffee on top of laptop. Uh, and we have, because I'm doing this in no particular order whatsoever, um, coupon code from Stephanie, who's uh, handmade by Stephanie on Etsy, and the code's actually uh, sticky in the group, um, and it's for her mini skeins, her bags of mini skeins, which both uh, Lynn and Sue have uh, gotten recently and shown off. Mm. Caffeine. Sweet, sweet caffeine. Um, that is my second cup today and it's it's not helping. Um, coupon code is all caps PUGS ROCK. Stephanie, I love your sense of humor. Because, um, you know, perfect. So that's really all the announcements. Uh, oh yeah, coupon code is good until the 15th of November. You'll have to excuse me, my laptop's over here. And unlike Sue, who's organized and does things like show notes, me, not so much. Uh, and because this is a knitting podcast, I do have actual knitting content. Uh, and I'm really hoping you can hear this. I will review it before I post it. And I'm really hoping I don't have to redo it because I'm doing this on a completely different camera. Um, this is my uh, Tan House Brook shawl. And that is by uh, Jennifer Lansend. And she's from the down Cellar Studio podcast, and I'm loving this so far. I've been working on this since, I think I cast this on on Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so quick, easy knit, and as you can see, great for those variegated, those highly variegated yarns. Um, I've just gotten into the uh, part, oh, the, I should say the edging section that has a little bit of lace detail and whatnot in it. And I'm doing this in Three Irish Girls, and this was one of their special colorways. It is uh, Love Wins. Or is this the Giving Tree? Oh shoot. I don't remember! Hold on a second. Oh, wait a minute. No, I have it up. I have it, I promise. It was one of the two. I have 
or had, I actually traded Sue. Um, this is Love Wins, is the colorway. Um, it was one of the two special colorways that they had made last year. Um, the other one being the Giving Tree. And so I'm doing that. This is on US 7, so 4.5 millimeters. And on my lovely, lovely Diacraft needles. Because for the life of me, I could not find any of my signatures. Well, I went hunting for the camera this morning because, of course, me being me, didn't actually think to make sure that I had a camera on hand. Because I know I have a camera. It's in my camera. Yeah, no. The only thing in my camera bag is uh, the, the lens covers and my massive telephoto lens for my regular camera. Nothing else. No cameras whatsoever. There's like three of them in this house. I couldn't find any of them. But yeah, I found this one in a bag full of my signature needles. I ha I don't know. And an unopened bag of goldfish crackers. I think I need to clean. <laughs> or at least empty out all of the random bags that I have laying around because I thought I'd already... Anyways, I thought I'd already done that. Um, the other thing I've got on the needles, still, is my um, Shapely Boyfriend by Stephanie uh, Yapel, and that is out of Nitty, and it is Deep Fall 2011, is the issue of Nitty. Um, it is done out of Tannis Fiber Arts, her Erin Weight, which I believe is the yellow label. Um, so it's 100% merino superwash and it's squishy and wonderful uh, and it is in the Chris Gray colorway and this is actually <laughs> as you can tell by the fact that it's all kinked was another sweater until I realized that I hadn't worn the sweater in a year and didn't actually like the way it looked and never had so I ripped it out and promptly started knitting myself a new sweater uh, and I've been trucking both projects around in my Bags by Awesome Granny bag, which she gave. One to me and one to Lynn, and they are wonderful. Um, and yeah, this thing holds the entirety of a 60 inch, like 60 inch bust, bulky weight sweater. It's my mother's sweater, the Big Blue Owls one, which I do not have close at hand. I thought I did, and I don't around here somewhere um, but uh, yeah it fits the entirety of that and will close quite handily which I am I am duly impressed by um, but yeah so that's what I've been carrying around and uh, I figured the only other thing that oh, well none of you guys have seen and it's not even on my project page and I really should do that at some point is this massive massive thing um, which will actually be a felted knitting bag. This is going to be my new knitting basket. And um, as you can tell, it's rather large. It fits the entirety of the pug. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can tell he's used to wearing the knitwear. He doesn't even care. Are you cold? Is that what's going on? Do I need to close a window or something? It's winter, therefore he figures he should not have to go outside at all because it's cold and icky. Isn't it? Yeah, poor baby. I make you get out of a nice warm bed to go outside. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, going back to it. This is done out of uh, Lopi wool and it's in their bulky four different colorways. I literally just, it's, hi. Okay, fine. <clears throat> there, we'll use him as a model again. Um, it's, I have a weird dog. I have a very weird dog. Oh wait, I have a pug. This comes with the territory. Um, it's done in four colors and it was literally, four, five, five. Wow. I can't count. 
Um, and it was literally, I knit the whole ball. The stripes are e are a ball each, so is the, the bottom part. Um, and it's just, it's a, when it's done, it'll be a, well, it'll probably come out round, but it started out as a square-ish basket. And I just have to figure out where to get handles to put on it. I want like leather or uh, wood handles, just short ones to attach to it. And I literally just knit the base until I felt it was probably big enough and then knit the whole way up. And I did a couple of decreases on this beige section just to bring the top in just slightly. So you won't really be able to tell. You can, well, if I hold it up like that, you can probably see that it uh, is fairly straight and then it, it slopes in a bit. So you won't really tell much that it's in at the top. Hi. Um, and that's pretty much, I don't even know what needles I knit that on, big ones, um, actually. Speaking of big ones, this would be one of the ones that, yeah, I don't, what are these? Ten and a half. So 6.5 millimeter needles, apparently. Um, so that was what the, that was knit on. I may or may not make a project page for it. We'll see. But yeah, that's all the knitting there is. And the pug. You gonna do anything interesting or are you just gonna sit there? I think this is just the I'm going to sit here phase. Because I interrupted his nap to put the the costume on. His mid afternoon nap, which is completely distinct from his early afternoon nap, his late afternoon nap, and his before dinner nap. Isn't that right? You would nap 23 hours a day if I let you. Punctuated by bursts of, oh my god, insanity. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Bye. We'll be back next weekend, uh, back at Sue's. And we will have uh, yarn and goodies and stuff to show you. And there will be drawings. And you've got yarn in your... How do you get yarn in your eyeballs? Oh, say bye-bye to people. Bye!